texting me because I'm going to ring you up. Stop texting me. Skip later. Skip later, her too. That, that what she said. She said that Skip came in the room drunk when my mom was pregnant and he was kissing her and stuff. She she explained everything in detail. She said how my bed was. She said I was laying on the right side and my cousin was in the middle and it just she just told her story. So after that, I told her, I said, baby, you better go tell my mama right now. I said, I am. She said, I don't want to tell your mama. I said, if you don't go tell her, I'm going to tell her tonight, right now. So she had not given her another choice. So we go in the room. She's telling her story. They did not comfort for a sixth grader. They did not comfort this girl. They did not talk to her. You know, they didn't, they were talking to this girl like she was lying. My mama busting out because Skip don't get drunk. Skip ain't never get drunk while I was pregnant. Skip ain't never, it's always what Skip ain't never do. Always. How you gonna say what this man never did? But she said that him and my mama got into an argument. He left, came back drunk, and did what he did. So my mama, she just went, they just was pressuring the girl. And so after that, she um she just bust out and the girl went from tears and screaming. Cause she, my mama had called Skip. Skip was laughing on the phone. Like he was like he was laughing. And he was like, girl, that girl, I don't know what that girl is. Basically the same thing he did to me. I don't know what that girl is talking about. Da da da. And so she just would go out. She was like, Skip, you did. Like, just crying. And, and this is a sixth grader we talking about. Crying and screaming and just, and so, girl, then after that, after they got off the phone, my mama pressured her and just was like, they, they, was talk, they was acting like they wasn't on the girl's side. And then next thing you know, she just said, I was lying. And so I just was looking at her for a long time. I was so mad at that little girl. I ain't gonna lie. I was like, girl, what's wrong with you? Like, I'd be like, girl, you lie. Ask her. I'd be like, girl, you lie. You lied on this man. I, mean, I don't want you around me. She called my auntie Bianca over there. And my auntie Bianca said, she called my auntie Bianca over there. My auntie Bianca. What the girl, what the girl name is on Instagram? Because they got people trying to get in here. I don't think she's she trying to join. Mm -hmm. her, her Instagram, Taylor. Wait, ain't nobody named Taylor trying to get on here. Yeah. All right. So, so, boom. I was, I was mad, like, I didn't, I was beefing with her and everything. I'm like, I don't want to talk to you. Like, what's wrong with y'all looking at her like something's wrong with her? Because I really believe that she was lying. So then after that, my auntie Bianca, she came over there. She called me in the room. She said, Kiara, has he ever touched on you? Because of course she's going to ask the child that he in the house with. And I told him, no, because he didn't. Hey, he wasn't touching me in the sixth grade. And I ain't lying on the man. I said, I, I said, no, you never touched me. I said, I, I, said, I only told y'all because Taylor told me. I said, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't remember. I, I was asleep. I said, but he never touched me. And I told them the and I told my auntie the truth. Right. If I I didn't lie on the man, because I'm not gonna do that. He didn't touch on me. I don't care if you my cousin or not. So then after that, it just was like a done case. And I was beefed out with I ain't gonna talk to her, and then it started happening to me. So <laughs> what what so your your biological daddy, what do you say about you? Because your biological daddy wants to take you take to take the um logic checker, right? Yeah. So that's another thing. My mom is out here saying I was Googling how to take, how to pass the test, right? Yeah, because I, I don't know. I'm just asking you. I don't know, but they're saying, they're saying you failed it, and they're saying skip past it. Yeah, because I'm going to bring it up. I'm going to bring it all up. So, mama, keep my mom, I'm going to remind you at the beginning of the story. She told me he was going to take the right. test. Right. She said. Y'all went to that. Where y'all went to that? Y'all went to the police station? I took it. I took it. It was a... It was in St. Charles because it was a long ride. Oh, and I think it was. Y'all went to a polygraph. No, y'all went to the police. Well, go ahead. Yeah, I, I, don't, I, I don't know. I ain't, yeah. I ain't too much in the hood. I know. I took it because my daddy right. wanted me to. So right. I wasn't at this point. Let me tell you why I had left the house. I had the, I was next to his test because I left the house. Because the next day I had went to school. I came back. I started to feel like uncomfortable in the house. I started to feel like she wasn't on my top. So I just left. So okay. I came in the house. The next day I went to school, came in the house. He opened the door for me. And it's the next day. Nigga, you already slept here. He op you opened the door for me. So I'm like, why this nigga opened the door for me? My mama gone. I just told you this man molested me yesterday. And you leave me in the house with him today? Like, where? And that's why I say, like, where was your decency? If you believe your daughter and I just lied, where was your decency? So then after that, I'm just looking like, I'm, I'm going off once again. My mama come home. I'm going off on the phone. Because I'm going off because I'm like, how this nigga gonna say that? I did this and I did that. He's mine. Let me tell you how he found out the videos was in my phone. I was sitting there and, I, and I'm gonna say it. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm gonna tell details. I gotta tell these stuff for me. I was in the bathroom taking a shit and I was on the toilet 
in my because I had I had a bathroom in my room. I'm on the toilet on my phone, strolling on my phone, da da da. He walks in my room, walks in my bathroom. Why are you using the bathroom? Yes. Well, I'm I'm, in, I'm sitting on the toilet and he, I'm sitting on the toilet and my door was right there. He he walked in there and I'm just sitting on it on my phone like this. He was like, "Let me see your phone." He took my phone. He goes, "Keep on. You trying to go through your stepchild phone to see, like." If they doing something sneaky, first of all, is a man. Wait, hold up. So he did that the day after you told your mama what happened? No, this ha this this how he had found out the videos was in my phone. Oh. This happened like three weeks prior. Oh. So okay. he says now he asked my phone or whatever. He going through my phone. I'm just looking at him like you crazy. I'm sitting on the toilet. You got my phone. So I'm just and, and keep my like I said. You trying to go first of all? If you're a stepdad. If you're trying to go through your your stepdaughter's phone, have her mom present, or ask the mother to go through her phone. Nigga, why was you going through my phone anyways? That's weird. And then you go through my phone, I'm sitting on the toilet. Like, what you doing? That's so that goes to show you this nigga was doing. He was doing. You're too comfortable. So then after that, he got the phone or whatever. He going through it. You don't even go through my messages. You don't even go through my Instagram. This nigga went straight to my hidden photos. First of all. Uh, you told my mama about the videos I had in my phone. The stuff that you told her about the videos, you would have had to watch the whole video to see. Or you would have had to watch the middle. Because one thing about it, if I'm going through my stepchild phone, if I'm going through my brother phone, you know somebody I'm not supposed to be going through their phone, if sex or something pop up, I'm going to drop the phone. I'm going to be like, oh no, like, I don't want to see that. Nigga, you sitting there watching it. Like, you watching all the videos. All of them. Just watching them. And he, while he's sitting there watching them, he like, Yo, oh my God, how you doing this? And you got this on you? And just like basically telling me what I'm doing. So I'm looking at him like, you watching my video? So then after that, he, he looked at me, he's smiling. He like, girl, you better delete that girl before your mama see it, girl, delete that. So then after that, which he lied and said that he told me, if you don't um, tell your mama, I'm going to tell your mama or something. Nigga, if you want to tell my mama here, you would have had to tell her. I'd rather you tell her before I do. He gave you your phone back? He had my phone back. And he told me to delete him. He just was like, delete, delete this out your phone. And that so was that. What's the reason for him coming to take the phone? Or what made him come in? He was, what made him come in there? He was like, I, so I had already, I was trying to show my mama something on my phone, right? I don't know if teen, I know a lot of teenagers probably did this before. I'm trying to show her something, but like, I made a mistake and clicked something else. Yeah. And I was like, oh, Lord. And I was like, oh, Lord. So I hurry up and hopped off. She like, what that was? And I'm like, I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. And then so two days, like two days later. But if you told her, you don't know what it was, and she ain't said nothing. That was the end. Yeah, I'm like, cause she didn't see nothing. She just, she just, you know, she saw, but she didn't see. You know, she didn't see enough. She saw skin. She didn't see the video. She didn't see nothing. Like, cause I hurry up and check the phone. It was like, oh lord. So he came in the um, he came in the bathroom and stuff. He was asking for the phone. He watching the videos. He mom didn't know nothing about these videos. He watching them. So it took here, my me and my mama like fussing about it. So I guess he, nigga, I guess wanted to see. Watching the videos, he was like, girl, delete this. Like, Skip was always, he was never a dad. He was never a dad figure. He was always like a, like a, like, you can ask this nigga to sneak out, and he gonna help you sneak out. Like, he was that kind of person. Like, he was never no dad to the point where I'm gonna tell your mama. Like, and she know that. So for him to say that, for him to say that lie, she should know not to believe that. So that's how he found out the videos in my phone. Cause he told her about the videos. At this point, as a mother, I would have asked that nigga, how you know that this is in her phone? I would have asked that nigga, why you went through her phone? What made you, I would have asked him, how do you know, how do, after I saw that, I would have said, how do you know this was in these, how do you know this is in these videos? You watched it? Cause you, cause how you, like, she not asked this man none of that. She didn't ask him none of it. So it's like, you was never pressuring him. Ever. Like, you never pressured this. You made, you made this man feel like he got it in the bag. And so, I had left. She came in my room the next day while I was going off on the phone. She said, because she just go to fuss Because I told you not to. Mama told me not to talk about it at all. And so, he take his test. She said, I can't tell nobody. And so, he take his test. So, she come in out when she heard me talk about it. First time, I told you not to talk about it to nobody. And she was like, you probably was messing with him. Like, accusing me of messing with the man. And so, I'm, I'm, I'm getting mad. And I just start clicking out, too. Because I'm like, it's too much chaos in this house. This nigga still here. You left me in the house. Now you coming in here accusing me of messing with him. 
she came in there, let me try on my prom dress. Then she bringing her the um reception the, the reception outfit talking about because I this why I'm going for the reception. And so I'm looking at her, you doing all this like a nigga ain't just tell you that this man left me. You telling me you still getting married. If you coming in my room telling me this is what you're gonna wear, nigga, that's telling you I'm still getting married. So at that point, you know what I she she came in now, once again, working on my nerves. She took my phone. After she took my phone, after and she was leaving. I'm like, nigga, you punishing me like for saying something? And so I left. I left and, and I and I and I and I was I didn't I left with nothing. And so when I left my, my brother my um my dad called me for your question for my dad. He called me. He didn't say he a little. He didn't say Kiara what happened. He didn't say, Baby, I gotta meet up with you and you gotta tell me what happened, what this man did as a father. His first word to me was, Don't hurt the people that's here for you. And I'm just Nigga, I don't want to talk to you neither. Nigga, I'm thinking you calling your daughter saying, Kiara, baby, what happened? Or, Nigga, you talking about her nothing. Nigga, get up, get up, bye. Get off my line. Like, honestly, honestly, get off my phone. And so, at that point, he he was like, you got to, I want you to take a test. I'll pay for that. I, I just kept, the only thing I had asked my daddy about that test, I said, don't take me to the same man who took his. That's all I had asked my daddy. That's all I asked. And I started looking up, I started looking up places that I could take my test. And I just was showing him, I'm like, okay, I could go here, I could go there. Like, just just showing him, you know, different places that I could go anywhere but there. That place, two hours away. Right. He just kept saying, that's the only place that you could take it. I'm like, that's the only place I could take it, nigga, what? I looked at him like he's stupid. Because I'm like, they got other people that do polygraphs. You ain't, you ain't going to tell me that this nigga... Is the, the person that, that this nigga went to is the only person that can take my potty grab. I ain't stupid. I ain't that stupid now. And so my daddy, he just, just kept saying, oh, well, this the one, you know, this the one that your mama said that he, you know, and I'm just like, don't take me to the same. I'm like, are you dumb? Like, are you stupid? Like, you're going to take me to the same man that took his? Like, are you, where, are you, do you have any kind of common sense? And so he told me that that's just what we was taking. And so I'm already blue. I'm already mad. I'm already... I was already just looking at life like it's over. Like I already was like questioning God and everything. I'm like, you know this happened and you gonna let this man pass this test. And I'm just like, just was everywhere with the situation. And so when my daddy took me to that man, this is what messed me up all the way up. I'm, I, I walk in there, I go in there. This man, he talking about, he was like, oh, oh well, um, wait, he loading. Ooh, I gotta wait till he done lose. I don't want him to not hear me. No, I can hear you. Oh. I can hear you. I can hear you. Oh, oh, all right. So I'm sitting there and I'm just like, the man, I walk in, I'm already mad because, nigga, you, you passed this nigga. Like, I don't trust you. Like, I'm looking at him like, like so he just go to saying, oh, well, yeah. Somebody must have called her phone or phone a day. So I don't know. That's deep. Yeah, they called him. Everybody around her filled her. Now I understand why y'all was saying what y'all was saying. But it's. She must have phone must have been there. Somebody must be calling the phone. Somebody did she come back? Somebody add these people trying to get in on you. That is sad. I just what's puzzling to me is what's puzzling to me is that my child 
First of all, my daughter, come tell me that. I don't know. I'm just used to, I'm just used to being around. I know my sisters. I know my mama. I know my sisters. You know, I know my friends. Ain't no nigga bigger than their daughter, period. And that's just how my friends are. That's how my friends are. But, I mean, I hate to say it like that. Don't, I know y'all may, may not agree with me. This is an opinion. But some people love her. And you love who you love. And she was like, you know, she loved that nigga. She don't think that nigga did that. Maybe that's how she felt. I, I don't know. I don't know. You know, some people... Some people, I guess, give both parties the benefit of the doubt. Some people, some people be like, no, fuck that, my daughter in line. He got to get the fuck out of here. It is what it is. Fuck a lie detector, bitch, you're going to get killed. You know, it's just different strokes for different folks. I don't know, and I can't speak for no, nobody else's situation. That's deep, though. That's big old deep. He should go come with the access something. He should go. Yeah, it's definitely no, I agree. Somebody, your phone with yeah. So, your phone with Yeah. So, listen, man, ask your question. So, so, look, I'm just asking. I don't, what? I don't lie. You, you fuck me up. Now, I, I keep, people keep sending me this shit. People keep hearing it, but you, I don't lie. You fuck me up with it. Cause I know, Mark. I, I know them. You know, I, I, I know them. I just, you know, mm -hmm. I don't lie. You fuck me up. You know, so the call, the call that you had, Skip took it from you. So this is the situation that happened with the car. So I, me and my boyfriend had broke up, right? So I had to go stay with my auntie. So when I went, because me and me have an all appointment at the time, I was pregnant, big pregnant, eight months. So I needed I needed my job. I needed to get back and forth to work from to the West Bank, because I worked at the West Bank mall. I had no, I was Ubering to work every day. And I couldn't do that. So then my mama, she told me, she said, Kiara, she said, oh, you could, um, you could buy, because I was already supposed to be getting that red band. That was supposed to be my graduation gift, but, you know, I said what I said. So, she said, well, look, she said, you don't have to talk to Skip or nothing. She said, you, she said, just pay me four, four, I think it was 4000 and 500 or something. I know it was four, it was more than 4000 I paid her, like, 4000 4, and something dollars for that car. I gave her the 4000 and something dollars for the car, right? The deal was for me to down payment, 4000 and something dollars, and pay the $500 car note every month, right? That was the deal. I gave her $4,000. I took my car. I was going back and forth to work, you know, and stuff like that, using the car to do what I got to do for my child. So, what happened? So, wait, first they the gave you the car, and then when they took the car back from you, you had to pay them to get the car back? No. Um, oh. they paid me. I had to pay them to get the car, period. Like, to have it. They didn't oh, just give it, give it to you. They, they, they didn't give it to me. They, I bought it. Oh, wow. Yeah, so I bought the car for 4000 and some dollars. So, you know, do what I got to do. She knew I had to get back and forth to work. So I, I spent that money and got that car. So, this is what happened to the car. So, you see this bed that I'm laying in? Right. I paid a thousand dollars for this bed, right? Yeah. I had bought it from somebody. I told them, put the buy. I had come on. I'm like, my, you know, we supposed to be moving our apartment soon. Um, not to mention, so this man, th this man went in my room, right? And now my mama didn't do it, but he did it. He went in my room, threw away all my clothes, threw away all my shoes, got rid of me. And he sold the bed. He sold everything. The room was empty. It went from a whole room to everything in the trash. He didn't give me my clothes back, nothing. He just threw it all away. Got rid of me enough. So I asked. So I said, okay, that room empty. Ma, I said, can um, can I have that bed dropped off by you? Cause I don't got nowhere else to put it until I move. It was in boxes. So she like, yeah, you know, put it in boxes. You know, I mean, put it in the room. That's fine. So then my braces bill was in her name, right? Mm -hmm. So if I didn't pay it, it mess up her. It mess up her credit. So she asked me. She said, okay, Ira, I need you to pay the five hundred dollars to the braces people. So my credit don't mess up. So I can get this house in. In um Texas, so I told her, I said, "Ma, keep on my baby was coming. I need to buy stuff for my baby. I didn't have that much stuff for her, so I was like, Ma, I said I can't give you five hundred dollars for the car note, another five hundred dollars for the braces bill, and have my stuff for my baby on time because she's gonna be born in a couple weeks." My mom was like, "I need you to do that. I need you to do that for me." Da 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 da. So I'm just like, "All right, Ma, I got, 
I, like, you know, we got to figure something out. So she said, I'm going to just pay the car note and you pay the braces bill, which was the same same amount, 500 and 500. So then, well, what kind of, kind of job you had in Oakwood that you got that kind of money? No, no. Like, I said, you so, got it. What's up? I was making, okay, so at, for, first, let me just say this. I was making money at Dillard's. Um, I was working in the shoe, the shoe department. Okay. So I was making, I was going, I didn't have nothing to do, so I was going to work every day, even on my off days. I, I, I could make like 800 a week because I got paid every week. So if okay. I went to work every day, I could make like 800 something. But the 4000 some dollars I had gave her, I had got money back from um a car wreck that I got into. Okay, okay, so okay. So I gave her the $4,000 out of that and some of the money that I was working for. So at this point, like I said, I'm broke now. I'm making the money for my job. So, yeah, so then I had, you know, bought the bed with my work money, my $1,000, bought the bed. They dropped the bed off to my mama's house, right? You know, so then she said, oh, well, she said, oh, and Kiara, look. She said, you know, she said, I'm going to just set this bed up because people keep coming in my house and my house looking mess. She said, she said, if you don't mind, I'm going to set this bed up so when people come in there, it don't look like a junk room. So I'm like, I said, she was like, you know, it's still your bed. Come get it whenever you please. Come get it, you know, come get it whenever. I'm like, I, I'm like, I know her mom is by her. I'm like, that's mine. I had moved to my apartment. The next day I called her, I said, Mom, I'm about to come get that bed because I'm moving to my apartment tomorrow. She said, oh, you can't get that bed. I'm thinking she's playing. So I'm like, I'm like, I'm laughing. She was like, so then when I called, I'm like, Mom, you know, make sure you got that bed ready for me because I'm coming to get it. What time do you want me to come get it? She was dead serious. So she said, oh, Kiara, she said, you can't come get that bed. Her son's sleeping in it, which is her son, her, his son, his step mm -hmm. his son, which is my mom's stepson. So this goes back to triggering how I feel like you putting you you already put this nigga before me. Now you starting you you you're putting these people before me. Like so I start to get triggered again and start getting mad again. So I'm just going off like what you mean I can't come get my bed to sleep in it. I paid for cause your stepson sleeping in it. So I'm like, I got a daughter. I I I, I said I, I have him, I have my boyfriend, like we paid for this bed. This is my bed. I said I ain't finna go sleep on the floor with my daughter because of you and your stepson. And I told her, that, I said, Ma, where are we going to sleep? On the floor? I said, so we're going to sleep on the floor? She said, oh, that don't got nothing to do with me and my household. So after she said that, I said, oh, really? And that's, that, that, go, that, that was um, why I had told you that was another reason why I started keeping my baby from her. Because you told me that I don't got nothing to do with your household. But I'm, you want me to sleep on, my, on, on, the, on the carpet in here with my baby, and I paid $1,000 for something that's mine. Right. You shouldn't say... You know, her son go sleep on the, the, the reclining sofa, go sleep on on your your, your brother king size bed. Anyway, you'll rather like so I just left her alone. But so yeah, so he had all like I said, he already got accused of molestation for my cousin. She said she was lying, we left it alone. It started happening to me. Next thing you know, um a couple years ago, which is the lady T I I don't know if y'all know her. Um so he, the girl Ariel, she had got on the uh, last live and told something too. So he, this girl, I was walking from a club again. Keep on, he noticed the girl. He coached this little girl for years, so he know her face. He didn't just not know who she was. This little girl walking from the club again. He was driving school buses. He pulled up his school bus and asked for the little girl number. So I mean, ask him, ask her, put, put my number in your phone. So the little girl was looking at him like, skip, like, like what? So she called her mama. And she like, Skip just tried to talk to me. Skip just tried to mess with me. So her mama called my mama and said, call, like, why are your husband trying to play with my daughter? And he know my daughter is 19 years old. So he just busting out and he like, um, you sure that was me? He not saying he didn't do it. He like, you sure that was me? And so that lady was going off. You know, I realized that's somebody else's child. You can't get away with that. Them people don't play about their turn. Right. So that lady, that lady like, stop playing with me. Like, you tried to talk, my daughter not lying, you tried to talk to my daughter. He was lying for like a good two days. He finally admitted to trying to talk to the 19 year old girl. He finally had admitted to it. Right then and there, you should have left him alone. Because you have a daughter, which is me, who was three years younger than this girl. So it's like, if my man tried to talk, if my daughter is, is freaking 15 and my man tried to, and me and my man in our 40s and 30s and he tried to talk to a 19 year old girl, he, I'm gonna leave him alone. Cause baby, what is you, you trying to treat with, you trying to cheat with children and you got me inside and I'm 40, we 30 something years old making 40. And now 
talk to this for my daughter. Because if you're trying to talk to this little girl that's too close at the point, you're going to try to talk. You're going to try to mess with my daughter. You got to go. And you know what she started saying? He tried to cheat on me. Baby, that's not cheating. That's you, you, you calling it cheating. He didn't try to cheat on you. He tried to mess with a little girl. And ain't no way around that. And so that's a that's who a situation that happened. And now look, I used to let me see that um paragraph that I got from you. When I came out about this, it was more. Keep my only came out about this. When I tried to tell my mom at her house, she did not want to hear. And my and I started crying and clicking out once again because she told me to my face I was lying. So my auntie Monique had said, "You really believe your daughter lying?" So she was like, "Yes." So then my auntie Monique said, "Skip or your daughter? Skip not here." You could have easily said, we're going to get to the bottom of this, and I'm going to see. You could have easily said that. You know what I'm going to say? My mama said, I'm going to skip this out 100 fucking percent. So you know what I did? I grabbed my baby. I told her, I said, all right, now I see how you feel. That hurt my heart. Like, that hurt my heart. It did. And it put some, it put a drive in me, though, to go handle it. I said, all right, I'm going to handle it. Like, nigga, I'm going to take care of it now. And so I took straight from my house. I went straight to the police station. I went to the one in Shell Mac first. They told me, go to the east. I drove to the east. Went to the one in the east, sat in the police station east for two hours. They trans transferred me to the sex crime unit. Now I'm calling them. And I said, okay, now I'm going to post it on Instagram. I posted on Instagram. Now it reached a lot of people. FBI contacted me because you have to realize I'm not the only one who, who said he did this to them. Now this is, what, this is why I'm embarrassed. A girl had texted me. I used to go to school with this girl. Me and her was, like, we was cool. We was real good, you know, friends at the time. So my mama knew her because we did dance tryouts together. So my mama knew this little young girl. So she went to my mama boat. And this, she had called me when I came out of a situation. She said, she said, I'm going to tell you what happened to me. She said, but I'm going to tell you why I did not tell you at first. And she said, I really thought, she said, first, at first I thought Skip was your real daddy. She said, so she said, I didn't want to come out and say, your daddy did this to me, and then me and you get into it, and you saying, I'm lying on your mama and your daddy. So that's why she said she never came out about it. This was this young girl text me. I'm going to read it for y'all. I ain't going to show her number. She said, I didn't mean to call it yet. She said, I used to go to their bar on Sunday.